See Season 3 Episode 1, Ending Explained. The first episode of Season 3 picked up nine months after the end of Season 2, where the Battle of Greenhill Gap unfolded. We were at the Trevantian and Gunite border where we saw conflict was still present. This was only the surface level of what we saw unfold in this first episode, so I thought I'd recap, break down, and explain all that there was to take away from the first installment of the final season of C. So let's get into it. Here is C Season 3 Episode 1, Ending Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The first episode kicked off with the Trevantians being pushed back to their base after they tried to take on the Gunites. They were simply outnumbered and we saw the struggle that was unfolding between them. With Captain Wren being a powerful source in the sense that she's a sighted individual, that most certainly came to their aid when making the decision to retreat. After evading and managing to retreat back to their base, we saw that Tomado, Ido's chief scientist, had found the Trevantians, and as we saw in Season 2 of the show, he'd been working on building a weapon that was so powerful that it would enable them to defeat any tribe or army in their path. He allowed the Trevantians to utilize it in their battle against the Gunites, and the explosives went off and essentially wiped out the army in an instant. This led the battle that once looked like the Trevantians were going to lose, now winning in an instant. We heard here that there were wider plans that Tomado had in place. He had a personal vendetta against Baba Voss due to the fact that he killed Ido, and Tomado loved Ido like a brother. But once that was done, he wanted to take Paya, and then once claimed, take on other cities that he heard were out there, as he believed that he was unstoppable with his weapon that he had developed. But he wanted the help of the Trevantians, but more importantly, Captain Wren. Alongside this, in Paya, we saw different levels of conflict emerging. We saw the unsighted people looking like they were going to cause uproar and go on to take out as many people that they believed were sighted, and they were also against Queen Margra. So there was a slow uprising brewing which resulted in Hanawa almost being captured but managing to escape. We also had the conflict that's going to brew between the Trevantians and Queen Margra due to the fact that they initially wanted Sibbeth's head, but now they wanted her alive so that they could take her and put her through a tremendous amount of pain and suffering. However, Margaret didn't want to do this, so I feel tensions are most certainly going to be rising. Sibbeth gave birth to her and Kofun's son, Wolfie, who we know has the ability to see. Although we've not seen his eyes yet, that was the only thing that was keeping Sibbeth alive. The fact that she was pregnant with a son that had vision, who they were calling a prophet, However, in a dangerous world where it appears to be getting more and more dangerous for the sighted people, it could well not be the best place for the baby to be. It looks as though Lord Harlan is going to have to sweet talk the ambassador to keep the Trevantes on their side and not start an all-out war due to them keeping Sibbeth alive, despite promising her to them due to all of the pain and suffering that she caused. Outside of the events that were unfolding in Pyre, we saw that Baba Voss was residing with Ranger, who he'd been staying with for some time after fleeing at the end of Season 2. It looked as though he had rebuilt his strength following the battle and was sticking with his friend after only claiming to stay for a short period of time, but it had now been several months. We saw that the death of the Alchemy tribe along with him having to kill his brother was something that was weighing heavily on his mind and was recovering mentally as well as physically. In the closing moments of the episode, we saw that Tomado had tracked down Baba after they were following Bo Lion, who had gone after Baba and wanted him to return. This led to a showdown of words, and it looked like an epic battle was about to erupt right at the end of the episode. However, the opposite happened. We instead saw Bo Lion run towards Tomado, where she was caught off guard by the explosives that had placed on the ground, and she was most certainly killed during this. We saw Baba on the outside of this area, so he may have been caught by some slight impact, but I don't think he was killed by this. Tomado stated that he was going to go and kill Baba's children due to the fact that he killed Ido, and with Tomado now thinking that Baba is dead, as he just walked off after the explosion happened, it looks like he's going to set his eyes on taking Paya and also Baba's children in the process. However, I feel that Baba is not going to take lightly to the killing of Bo Lion, the attempted assassination of himself, and also the threatening of the lives of his children. So we'll see him now aim to seek revenge and finally leave where he's residing with Ranger. The brewing conflict between all parties is something that's definitely clear to see. And it looks like the final season of the show has started how it means to end. With death, destruction, and conflict. I'm looking forward to seeing how this series is going to unfold and exactly where the final destination will be. So, there you have it. See Season 3 Episode 1 Ending Explained. 
If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you want to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of the first installment? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.